Hello again, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Eärendil. When we last left our intrepid High Elven Mage, he had just finished traveling all the way from the province of Somerset Isle, from the town of Rosefield, also known as Russafeld, to this province of Skyrim, and the city of Falkrenth, also known as Falkreath. Some of these cities have changed names over the years, since the time of Arena, all the way to the time of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and Elder Scrolls Online. So, yeah, some of these cities and towns um, that continue to exist in the lore might be known by different names, or slightly different names, and that's okay. <laughs> You know, it, it's very realistic to have uh, places have multiple names or to have names change over time in, uh, in slight or very dramatic ways. And uh, anyway, we are here in search of rumors about the Ogma Infinium. When we first arrived, we did have to fend off a couple of goblins. And now we're just looking for a safe place to spend the night. And here we have a nice lady of the night, whom we can ask a couple of questions. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing this fine evening? Who are you? I'm Olia Ingmarson. Ingmarson, whatever. No offense, honey, but I don't like high elf boys too much. <laughs> you might want to talk to one of the other ladies down the street. Well, okay, fine. A little bit rude, but... Okay, a little, little bit racist. <laughs> uh, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? They say Morrowind is doomed to wither away from plague and pestilence this year or next. My opinion is good riddance. Wow! Even more anti-elf racism. My goodness. Have you heard any rumors about work? You're looking for work? Well, that's just what we need. Another destitute high elf. Okay. I've had quite enough of your commentary about elves. Goodbye. The warm smells of tobacco smoke and simple foods draw you into the Flying Skull from the freezing autumn night. You gotta love these names, like Flying Skull, you know. <laughs> Not exactly the most inviting name, but uh, the hospitality inside is fantastic, so... So be it. Barkeep, what are you serving tonight? I would like... Oh... Maybe a simple ale. I've heard good things about the brewing here in Skyrim. You finish the ale, thankful for a safe haven. And, um, have you heard any rumors? I wasn't here in Falkrenth last year for Emperor's Day, but I should be here on Midas, 30th of Frostfall, this year for the day the aristocrats in Falkrenth used to have the horseback goblin chase in the old days. Goblin chase, okay. Any rumors about work? Ask around on the street. Lots of folk have a better idea than I. Fair enough. I would like a room for one night, and I would like to pay eight gold, thank you very much. Don't let anyone know I'm only charging you eight gold, it ruined my reputation, alright? Fine. And, let's see, it's currently 9.23 at night, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, we can rest for, let's see. Maybe just nine hours. You wake up at 6.25 in the morning. Beautiful. So now that it's daytime, we can go chat with some more local townsfolk. How are you doing, charming Nord lady? <laughs> Best ale in Falkrenth here at the Flying Skull. Go drink some and leave me alone. All right, well. Fair enough. Good day, sir. Folks are not always friendly, are they? Especially to outsiders. Let's go ahead and save. Right here. And why not? We can chat with both of these people. Hello? Who are you? Greetings, High Elf. I'm Doria Magison, a typical innkeeper, and I am partners with some gentlemen for the ownership of some inns in town. Okay. 
Now, where is the Mage's Guild? I'm pretty sure it's east of here. Heard any rumors lately? Whoops. Dang it, I missed that. I'd ask someone else with a better ear. Rumors about work? There's a notably peculiar character called Sir Han of the Crimson Dungeon southeast of here who asked me to recover something. I don't have time to do it, you know, because of my career, but if you want to do it, I'm sure you'll be welcome. Okay, well, that's a, that's a decent tip. Now, this sounds like it is not an artifact quest, but that's actually fine. One thing that I did think of as I was preparing for this gaming session is that um, I'm actually not 100% prepared to handle an artifact quest right now. And the reason is I don't have a lot of spare gold. I currently have 138 gold left, and sometimes you need a fair amount of gold to pay for... Oh, here we have another interesting lady. Hi there, how are you doing? Okay, <laughs> good day to you. Um, sometimes you need a fair amount of gold to pay for the information about where artifacts might be located. So we should go ahead and do maybe a small number of... Hi there, <laughs> my goodness. Oh, it is sad to see a, a fair number of Nord ladies resorting to that type of work. They should not need to do that. But anyway, um, I know I'm being a little bit presumptuous, but I think that is kind of the idea of <laughs> what's going on with some of these ladies. Um, here is the Streaming Skull. I believe that is the place that was mentioned. And we have a Snake Charmer right outside. Beautiful. Um... Well, let's see, what was I saying? Oh yes, I was just mentioning that uh, we should go ahead and take uh, some of these simple fetch quests and whatnot. And I'll also go do some adventuring out in the wilderness to uh, get some more loot and uh, level up a little bit. The Screaming Skull Tavern you enter is brightly lit and colorful compared to the cold, dark clouds that hang in the sky. Indeed, there were not only clouds, but some very thick fog out there. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and see if when we chat with this innkeeper, if we get uh, interrupted by that gentleman or lady who might have a job for us. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. I might be misremembering. This is the right place. I guess maybe not. I should have taken more careful note of the name of the inn that was mentioned. But uh, actually, if I ask someone else, I should get the same, or roughly the same tip again. So let's do that. And then we will more carefully find the correct location. Excuse me. Hello there, sir. How are you? Who are you? My name is Aaron Sorison, the squire. I seem to have lost sight of my master in this crowd. Well, can you tell me any rumors about work? I've heard there's a notably peculiar character called Sir Han over at the Crimson Dungeon. Oh yeah, that's what it is, the Crimson Dungeon. I don't know what I was thinking. That's just east of here. Looking for someone who can find some lost thing. From what I've heard, the job will pay very well for whatever it is. Okay, so the Crimson Dungeon, great. And are we close enough that you can mark it? Where's the nearest inn? Northeast? Well, anyway. He said east for the Crimson Dungeon, so fine. We'll go this way a little bit. Now, like I said, uh, we will go do some adventuring in, in the wilderness, so I promise we will not just do a whole bunch of boring wandering through this city. Oh, poor beggar. How are you? How are you, good sir? Who are you? Alms? Alms? No, you want something from Asgarn Moyensen, don't you? Well, if you don't mind, could you tell me where... Oops. <laughs> where... the Crimson Dungeon is? I'm not really sure. Go northeast for a while and ask there. Okay, fine. Any general rumors? Nothing much going on. Okay, great. Goodbye. Pardon me. 
Again, I wish this game would allow you to give money to people in need, but uh, that's just not a feature that they built in. So we're going east and northeast a bit. Hello there. Who are you? My name is Darina Morianson, the Guildmaster. I look out after the needs of the working class. And uh, can you tell me where the Crimson Dungeon is? It's very near. Okay, she so reaches for my map and uh, she marks it. Great. Once again, we have a an inn with a rather uninviting name, the Crimson Dungeon. Okay, so just east of us. Hello there. So we'll head over this way a little bit. Okay, I believe if we go in here, I think we can find that entrance. The Crimson Dungeon. On an overcast autumn day like today, the Crimson Dungeon is very popular and you can see why. It certainly lifts the spirits. Let's go ahead and save again. Oh, we can't save in here. Never mind. Chat with the innkeeper from a distance. And I believe we'll get interrupted. Oh, come on. I thought we could do that. Maybe not from that far away. Before you reach the bar, a notably, a notably peculiar character called Sir Han signals to you and speaks in a conspiratorial whisper. You have a kindly face, High Elf, and I need a friend. You see, I loaned a vial of blessed water of sentimental value to someone in the Conclave of Justice, and now I find I must have it back. Would you get it for me? I'd be happy to give you 64 gold for its safe return, but I must have the vial of blessed water by Turdus, 15th of Frostfall. Do we have a deal? Conclave of Justice, you've got it. By the Cliffs of Solitude, the good spirits must have delivered you indeed. I am relying on you, Erendil. Do not let me down. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and just uh, exit here. Find the Conclave of Justice. And once you have accepted a quest, you do get the details in your logbook, thankfully, so... If we did forget, it's all right here. Conclave of Justice, bring it back to the Crimson Dungeon. By the 15th of Frostfall, it is currently the 14th of Frostfall. Anyway, let's, uh, let's ask around a little bit. I feel like turning is even slower than before. Maybe that's just me, but you know, this is a game that does require a certain amount of patience. You can tweak certain settings to make things go faster, but that has some downsides as well. So for the most part, I think I'm gonna stick with the speed. You know, I don't mind that it requires a little bit of extra patience. It's it's kind of a I don't know. It has kind of a a calming effect in a way. I think uh, this is sort of a relaxing game for the most part. It's just a nice, a nice chill game for some light adventuring and, uh, <laughs> well, occasionally intensive adventuring as well as we attempt to save Tamriel from a potentially evil fate. Um, suddenly I'm not seeing a whole bunch of NPCs. I, I just assumed I would see someone else here Shortly, I guess I should have should have chatted with that uh, beggar again. Here we go. Who are you? I named Met Askinson. I'm an innkeeper. Okay. Uh, where is? Let's see. A temple. Conclave of Justice. I would check to the west if I were you. Okay. So we'll go in this direction some more. Really is very foggy. Um, now I'm trying to remember if we waited a bit, the weather might change. I'm going to save the game right here. Whoops, not that one. 
save in this slot. And we can't camp here. Okay. I don't quite recall if there is a feature for just uh, loitering. Maybe not. Anyway, let's talk to this juggling gentleman here. Who are you? You don't remember me, Jürgen Zingmanson? Well, you were pretty drunk at the time. Anyhow, you'll be happy to know the baby isn't yours. Stop me if you've heard this. <laughs> what do you say to a high elf woman to convince her to go to bed with you? Have another ale! Alright, alright, I'm gonna get really tired of the elf jokes in Skyrim, I can tell. Um, can you tell me where the Conclave of Justice is? I would check to the northwest if I were you. Alright. Any rumors? Harvest, blah blah blah. Work rumors. A healthy high elf like you, by the beard of Thoric. It's a shame not to have a profession at your age. Alright, whatever. I shouldn't waste so much time on needless asking about silly rumors. Is this it? Order of the One Prophet. So not quite. West. I believe he's in Northwest. So let's go north a bit more as well. PCs around. Where are all the townsfolk? Here we go. Who are you? I am called Dorina Allerinson, the city-state guildmaster. You know I had to kill a lot of people to get to where I am today. I really hope that's a joke. Where is the Conclave of Justice? Northwest. Okay. Essential armaments. If you're curious, the way to see the names of these places uh, that you come across is to right click on the door. Okay, I've gone northwest for a while. I better ask again. Come on. See. Might as well look at my map as well. Just kind of get a feel for... Okay. So we're definitely up in the uh, northwest corner at this point. We must be fairly close. That might be it there. Hello, good sir. How are you? Who are you? You do not know. I am only Asgard Bjesson, one of the personal priests of King Bjeld. You must be new to town. I love these names. Where is the Conclave of Justice? That's easy, it's southwest of here. Oh, great. And uh, where is the uh, nearest temple? Oh, give me just a moment, I'll show right on your map how close you are. All right, well, what did he mark? The Brotherhood of Mercy. Okie dokie, let's go southwest for a bit. Er, wait. Yeah, not southeast, southwest. Interesting statue. Hello, good sir. Can you tell me? First of all, who are you? I am Torben Herrinson of the Conclave of Mercy, my child. How may a poor monk help you? Where is the Conclave of Justice? It's very near. Okay, so now he's marked it. Finally, I apologize if this is a little bit boring. Um, I think in the future I will do very few, if any, of these very basic fetch quests and whatnot. They're they're not terribly exciting, um, but they are, of course, an easy way to get a bit of extra gold. And early on, uh, you know that can be important sometimes. 
rather than taking the risk of uh, always delving for loot in dungeons. You enter the Conclave of Justice, hoping that your spirits can be lifted on this cold, overcast day. You can hear chanting in the distance. So here we are. Hello, good monk. Hand sent you for the vial of blessed water. Damn, I could have used it. Well, hurry back to her. Her, eh? I, okay, well, I guess I made some wrong assumptions there. Good day. Either I made some wrong assumptions, or, of course, it'd be totally understandable that the text for some of these uh, procedural quests might make mistakes here and there. In any case, we will be heading back to the Crimson Dungeon. So I should be heading east. Oops, yeah, I have myself pointed in the wrong direction there. East. Here we go. Yeah, this type of quest is definitely not exciting. If you look in your inventory, you will see the quest item. Thankfully, okay, vial of blessed water, there it is. This item is needed to complete your quest, see your logbook. <laughs> it doesn't give any description beyond that. And thankfully, it does not allow you to accidentally sell quest items, or purposely sell a quest items. So, um, you'll always be able to complete your quests, assuming uh, you complete them in time. That's the main difficulty uh, with a lot of quests in this game, is the time limit. You enter rare sundries, rubbing your hands together to warm them from the chill. Many items of interest hang on the walls and are displayed in the display case in front of you. I decided to step in here simply because I think I have at least one item to sell, this staff. Three gold, sounds good. And I think that's it. So on we go. Eirendil, the High Elven Mage has a very simple task before him, but we will soon get into more exciting things. What we're going to do is we're going to step outside of the city. We are not going to fast travel. If you want to go to other cities and towns, you know, major landmarks of any kind, you have to fast travel. But what we're going to do is step outside the city. If you start traveling outside any of these towns or cities, you cannot ever get to another city or town or other landmark outside the cities and towns it's just an infinite procedurally generated uh, wilderness area and they're still worth exploring you know um, basically you can get a lot of uh, interesting looking farmlands and um, maybe an inn here and there some random dungeons now and then there's a lot of interesting stuff for when you just want to get some more experience or loot. And let me look at my map again. Oops, I went too far. So anyway, curious to see what this is. Crimson Dragon. So very soon you'll get to see what I was talking about. Um, and we'll do some fun adventuring. Crimson Dungeon, here we are. You walk out of the cloudy autumn day into the Crimson Dungeon, the smell of baking bread pulling on you like a lure. Hmm. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of gold for this. I heard you have picked up the vial of blessed water from Conclave of Justice, but I admit I feared I wouldn't get it back here in time. As promised, uh, here are your 64 gold pieces. I am very grateful. Thank you, noble high elf. Alright. Well, at least this person is polite. And with that out of the way, we're kind of eager to, uh, to go out and acquire some more gold items we can sell for gold because so far we're not getting any rumors about this powerful artifact 
But that's understandable. We know that we will likely need to spend not only significant time, but also significant goals before we'll be able to get a good tip about it. So that's pretty cool. I feel like this is something I haven't seen as often. A fire breather. <laughs> Very neat. Let's take a look at our map and make sure we're close to... Okay, yeah, I think that might be a gate or it could be the palace. We'll see. So yeah, we're going to uh, build up our resources a bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's the palace. Or maybe not. It's the palace. You walk into the king's audience chamber, noticing the many fine trappings and furs that decorate the area. Even though autumn's clouds outside have made everything seem dark and gray, you find that the interior is brightly lit and warm. Ahead of you waits Bjeld, King of Falkrenth. It is well known that Falkrenth is currently at peace with its neighbor, White Run. Well, I hope so. So this is what palaces look like in this game. We have some interesting guards here in the main hall. I think we cannot speak with them, but I'll see. Yeah, they are unresponsive. Let's go speak with the king. I think we don't have enough of a reputation to get quests from nobility and royalty yet, but perhaps soon. Welcome to Falkrant Theorendil. Please treat yourself to our city-state's many pleasures. Our taverns are a particular delight, the best mutton pie in the province. Now I regret, I must dismiss you. So yes, he has more important business to attend to than chatting with a, uh, you know, kind of a no-name high elf like myself. Currently I'm still uh, not really famous uh, in, in most circles and uh, also not known for being any kind of really powerful mage yet. eventually get back to some city gates, get ourselves out into the wilderness area, and have a bit more fun. More dangerous fun, yes, but of course, that is part of the point. Erendil has some heavy responsibilities on his shoulders now, so he knows he needs to build up resources, hopefully find the Ogma Infinium, which will greatly assist him in, in uh, preparing for the weighty matters ahead of him. And um, even if that doesn't happen in the short term, well, at least we'll be gaining more resources and leveling up as we explore this area. So that will be worthwhile in and of itself. Here we go. Into the randomized wilderness. So, if we look at our local map, here's what we see. We see the surrounding area of Falkrenth. Our map will continue to just say Falkrenth no matter how far away we travel by foot. Now, if we look at our fast travel map, this is where we currently are. Like I said, no matter how much you walk, you'll never get to New Grad Watch or North Keep or into Hammerfell or Imperial Province or anywhere else. Um, it's just an endless random wilderness and I think that's actually kind of great I think it's wonderful like as long as you know that that's the case um, when you don't know that it can be frustrating to <laughs> to come to that realization for the first time but after that point I think it becomes just a fun little fact about this game that whenever you want some random adventuring looting, uh, leveling up, you can just step outside any city or town and have endless interesting randomized areas to explore. And there will be NPCs here and there. Hello good sir. Who are you? I am called Alibrick Fenrarikson, the city-state hunter. You know, I just like to be out in nature, you know, killing things. Oh, lovely. Uh, have you heard any rumors? 
There's a physician of some sort in the wilds of Valenwood who found a cure for lycanthropy. Could you imagine? I didn't even know it was a problem. Didn't know it was a problem, eh? Could you be a member of the Companions, perhaps? Rumors about work? I have no idea. Try asking in town. Alright. Well, where is the nearest dungeon? That's easy. It's northeast of here. Have you also heard rumors about Fang Lair? Oops. Here we go. Isn't that just a legend? Anyway. He said there is a dungeon to the northeast. We'll go up these interesting steps. There's a bridge. Perhaps over either a river or a moat. This might be a dungeon area right within here. Or maybe not. Maybe this is just a little bit of a, uh, a small settlement outside of Falkrinth. If I try to right-click on any of these doors, uh, they're probably just residences, so they won't really be labeled at all. Um, but again, sometimes there can be places like this. Uh, an inn, it's called Conclave... Oh, not an inn, a temple. Conclave of Mercy. If you're playing as kind of a thief character, you could try to sneak into buildings and steal things, but I'm not interested in that. Hello there. Who are you? They call me Alarsaurus and the Weaver. I was just out shopping for a new loom. Okay. Where is the nearest dungeon? Northeast. Great. Okay, we need to get out of here. Hello. Dang it. Oh, I shouldn't have gone into this area. Okay, we'll just go out the way we came, I suppose. Ah, that might be the dungeon there. Go ahead and write. Oh, I can't write on this one. I guess in these areas you can't write on the map. Okay, maybe we'll exit to the north instead of going out the way we came in. Here we go. Interesting obelisks. This is why I say I think the randomized content in this game can be very interesting. You know, that might just be my opinion. I'm sure not everyone feels that way. Um, you know, in these random wilderness areas, they obviously don't contribute in any direct sense to the main narrative of the game. But the narrative that always matters most to me is the narrative you create in your own head as you play your character in the way that feels right to you. So... In this case, I am just supposing that Eärendil has heard some specific tips about this place where there are some bad actors Perhaps brigands or monsters. Okay, interesting. Wow. This is something I don't think I've ever seen before. Platform. <laughs> Very interesting. It's kind of a, an overpass <laughs> over this road. Okay, I need to investigate this a bit more. What is this all about? Very interesting. A walkway from perhaps one little fort to another. So, this might indeed be the quote-unquote dungeon. Kind of a fort of sorts. I'll save again. And here we go. Indeed. This is the place we were seeking. To clear out some baddies, gain experience, and gain resources. 
I love this music and these sound effects. Here we go. 85 gold, play powder and still broadsword. Yes, this type of thing is definitely worth way more than doing those silly, uh, boring fetch quests that often take way too long for what they're worth. Rats. Typically these random dungeons are relatively small. Those are some stairs upstairs. We won't take those yet. Let's finish exploring down here. Interesting fact about dungeons and arena, loot piles and treasure chests, etc. They... Oh! Goblin time. Okay. Uh, the loot piles and treasure chests, they tend to get um, respawned when you go up and down stairs. Okay, I knew there was another goblin around here somewhere. So you can get a lot of treasure from just a single dungeon if you want to. 41 gold pieces. In fact, there are some exploits if you go up the stairs, down the stairs, up the stairs, down the stairs repeatedly. Um, it will continue adding more and more treasure to each of those loot piles because it thinks it needs to respawn them. So that's kind of funny. Um, typically, I'm not involved or not interested in doing exploitative things like that. Okay. Save again. Oops. Oh my gosh. I got turned around. I forgot that that was the, uh, the way we came in. So now that we left and came back in, I'm not sure if that is enough for some of the treasure to respawn. It might be, but maybe not. Okay. In any case, I obviously don't need to be super thorough about all this, but where is... Okay. Yeah, whatever, let's go ahead and go upstairs. The textures are a bit different here. One thing I forgot to mention about the palace area that we briefly looked at. Palaces tend to have areas off to the sides that are forbidden, and you'll get kind of a warning message, but if you persist in going into those forbidden areas, uh, there will be knights or guards that attack you. Oh my, I think I see a skeleton. Cast Light Heal. Cast it again. Oh my. This is not good. <laughs> oh. With you died our last hope for justice. Tharn is now free to do as he will. It saddens me to see the beautiful land of Camriel rotting from within. Goodbye. I wish you peace in the afterworld. Okay. Good thing we saved, right? We had saved fairly recently. And, um... Let's get back to it. That's right, we had already we had already explored this room. Let's go ahead and just go around and up those stairs again. Go ahead and 
and save here. If we ever wanted more light, we could cast our light spell, of course. But I think I'm okay for now. However, let's cast Shield. In fact, I should have done that long ago. The shield spell, as you may know, its effects persist forever after it's been cast in this game. So you could even cast the spell and then rest and that shield effect will still be there. So it's very useful for mages to take advantage of that. Light heal. Okay, come on. Had to cast heal a couple more times. You can recast a spell by doing shift C instead of the usual C that you use if you're using uh, standard controls. You have found 16 gold pieces. Take a dagger and a buckler. Oh, I guess maybe we'll take the rest since we have room for it for now. Um, but now things are a bit precarious. Uh, this is kind of an exploit, but a relatively minor one. And that is that you can rest near stairs, and then if enemies come, you can just escape down the stairs. Let's go ahead and do some of that. Enemies nearby, great. Let's rest. Enemies nearby, oh no. Let's try again. Okay, this is not working. Not working at all. Oh my. You know what? Let's save again. This time in this slot. And yes, there is a method to my madness. <laughs> Let's try to get a little more treasure and then just get out of here because... Oh! Things are not looking super good right now. Phew! Okay, we, need, we really need to just get out of here. Be safe to rest here, but I'm not sure. Oh, good. Thirty one hours. Let's cast shield. Rest again. Perfect. Save again. And let's go back upstairs and finish looting this place. Oh my. Haha. <laughs> okay. Because of my shenanigans at the stairs, I have taken advantage of this exploit a little bit. Oh well, I'm okay with that. A little bit of that I think is okay. I just don't like to cheese it too much. Try out a fire dart. I've tried one on me too. I wonder if he's a spell sword or what he is. There we go.
short sword buckler. And for now, I guess we can carry some more stuff. Sure enough, a spell sword. Okay, let's see what other treasure piles have generated due to our shenanigans of the stairs. Are there any others? Now, oh, here we go. Nice. Very helpful. And some potions. One cautionary note. Enemies will continue to randomly spawn as you explore, so there's no such thing as emptying a place completely of all enemies. You know, with this extra loot, maybe we should call... Maybe we should call that good enough. And not bother taking the risk of trying to fully loot this entire place. We've gotten rid of some bad guys. We've taken some of their ill-gotten gains. Let's call it good for now. So out we go. It's now nighttime. Save again. Take a look at what we have acquired. 690 gold, that's pretty good. And we'll be able to sell several things to get even more. We'll be over 700. That should be perfect for getting some rumors in the near future about some artifact. Hopefully the Ogma Infinium. Now, let's also take a look at our health status. Healthy. Great. 57 kilograms. Okay. Let's try to rest. Enemies nearby. Oh no. Well, at least we saved. <laughs> With you died our last hope oh my goodness. There we go. Well, I think that's enough for today. So thank you for joining me. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. Comment down below. Consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. And that's about it. So, uh, you know. Take good care of yourself, and I will see you next time when, hopefully, we will finally get some rumors about the Ogma Infinium. Take care.